guys so mix and match new game a lot of you guys probably already know um it's very different to the past two games that we've had it's not a traditional just intake and score game and it has a lot to do with stacking instead of just directly scoring but today i have a really interesting design that i want to show you guys so here you can see that the pins they just uh slide down these ramps and they go directly on top of each other so what's actually interesting about this is that you don't really need anything to stack it on. So this means that you can just have an intake in the front and the pins will come up and then they'll just fall down. And you can see they just drop on top of each other like that. And I think for the beams, which is a really big issue for um, this kind of intake structure, is that you can just have your intake be as big as a beam and the beam will just come up here, fall down, and the middle will just directly drop onto the pins, just like these drop. Once that happens, your holes will be offset on both sides. So instead of this uh, middle beam just making the pins trip over and fall upright, you can just have the rest of the pins just not have this beam here and they'll just fall directly down while being pointed downwards. And that'll make the pins just go directly into the beam. So I think this kind of robot will be able to score a lot of points and really fast as well because traditional intake will definitely pick up these pins way faster than a claw will be able to and also especially because i think in this year's game speed or getting around the field isn't that big of an issue compared to full volume or rapid relay so you could definitely have a two motor three to two drive base and then have a two motor intake and just have a two motor claw the two motor claw can be used for lifting the entire structure up into the middle standoff or into the corners and i think especially because this ramp is so high up, you can also have a lot of storage space on the bottom because you get a bonus for having different colors, right? So if you wanted to use the AI vision sensor, you could have a piston that automatically opens a door to a, maybe a bottom storage compartment if it's a color that you don't want, one that's already scored, and that color can just stay in your compartment. And once you want to use it, you can just have a door in the front that you just let it out again, and it can go up your intake or you can just release it onto the field and just intake it again. And this can go back up into your RAM and sc score on there. And then, and for redirecting the pins for these, the double-sided connector pins, you could just have a piston in the middle that extends maybe like a funnel, and that funnel will let these pins go to the side. I think even though, uh, I bet like a lot of us at the start of the game reveal, we thought that this would be a claw-dominated game. I think that, uh, already we're gonna start seeing intakes using this kind of mechanism and especially because these pins they're actually really loose they go onto each other really really easily so you don't need any force unlike actual pins and beams so this dropping directly down i think it's gonna work really well however uh one issue that i do see you know these pins they're uh pretty large and there's a limit to how big an intake can be over here already two pins that's if you add a beam here, I think this ramp can only add another one pin here and you won't get that stack bonus. So if this were to be used on an actual bot, I think there's going to be a lot of angling with the height limit and stuff. So one way of fixing it could be to have a less angled or have the flip up roller similar to full volume and just have the ramp higher up. But again, if you want that three color bonus, you're going to have to figure out a way on how to get pins upwards really fast and I still think a claw kind of mechanism would be the best for that. However, this definitely is going to be a very very powerful early season bot. So I recommend a lot of you guys to check this out. This was posted in our Discord server, linked in the description. And thank you to Bacon Man from 2048A for posting this.